Hi, my name is Corey Sellen, and I am a graduate assistant in the Health and Nutritional Sciences Department at South Dakota State University. This video will demonstrate Lesson 3 of the KidQuest program. Lesson 3 is entitled, Think Your Drink. Please refer to the KidQuest Leader Guide for instructions. Again, the KidQuest Leader Guide provides very detailed instructions on how to carry out the presentation as well as the activity. As you can see, the lesson outline is provided along with the activity outcomes as well as the materials needed to get ready. It is important that you secure a computer and projector for the KidQuest lesson. Select a physical activity lesson ahead of time so that if time allows, you can move right into the physical activity lesson once you are finished with the nutrition lesson. For lesson three, Think Your Drink, you have several beverage containers. You have a diet soda, you will have um, a fruit juice, not 100% fruit juice, you will have an energy drink, you will have a regular sports drink, you will have a low calorie sports drink. You will have a flavored water. You will have a just a water bottle. And you will also have a regular soda container. It's very important to instruct the children to not consume the beverages. They should all be emptied and clean, but just uh, reiterate that with the children that they're only for demonstration purposes. You'll also have um, a container full of sugar cubes. Again, uh, instruct the children not to eat these. They're only for the purpose of the project. And then you'll also have a calculator. Go through the, the PowerPoint presentation and once you get to the slide with the Sugar Shocker Challenge, leave that slide up for the students to utilize as a reference that has the instructions. They will be in groups of three to four and you want each student to, or each group to go through one beverage at a time. For example, if they are going to use the Pepsi container here, there are multiple servings in this container. The students will calculate how many grams of sugar are in this entire container. So for this container, there are 28 grams in a serving, but there are two and a half servings per container. Therefore, there are 69 grams of sugar for this entire container. Instruct the students that they need to divide the total amount of grams of sugar by four to represent how many teaspoons are in that beverage. One teaspoon is equal to one sugar cube. Once the students have utilized their calculator, they can put how many teaspoons are in the entire bottle. So for this Pepsi, there are 17 and a quarter teaspoons so you can see that this is how much of the Pepsi is comprised of sugar. Once the students have gone through the several beverages, they can move on to the physical activity lesson. Now is a good time to pass out the healthy homeworks if they are to be utilized by your school.